Howdy folks, we've got a replay sent in by Dalaran between Dar Dalaran and Alden John. Yeah, but you're supposed to say Yeah, it's a, it's a Frost Tier 1 mirror. That's something you don't see that often. Yes, and uh, uh, Aiden, we'll call him Aiden. Aiden plays the regular Frost Mage, and Dalaran plays Master Archer, questionable, and runs back to this well here, very questionable, kills his own archers. Uh, I'm confused. Yeah, more questionable moves, I don't know. I think on this map, a Frost Mage spam is actually really good because your Ice Guardians that are usually the one that are protecting you from Frost Mages, mm -hmm. they are not very useful here. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Except I'm... for this move, Was that is something can't... that is very special about this map. Right. So this is good from Valorant, spawning those, those Ice Guardians. Um, using the proximity of the wall to make sure they, they start with their uh, shields. And Aiden is not doing the best uh, for this fire. Of course, he does yeah, have a good micro. power yeah. damage. What's that? It was a nice micro. He microing one Frost Mage. Mm -hmm. But now it seems like yeah. that this attack the... is going to fail. Yeah, the micro wasn't perfect. Um, and I think the Ice Guardians have so much value that Imperfect Micro is uh, not going to get it. So Dalaran comes out of this ahead, despite a very, very dubious uh, initial play. Yeah, that was a weird one. Yes, that's true. <laughs> uh, now Dalaran has a nice army of Ice Guardians that are going to have their shield uh, drained away, so... It's not the scariest thing in the world, as long as Aiden can make sure to prevent them from getting their shield back. Now Dalaran comes yeah, and he can, mm -hmm. yeah, he can now attack the well right. from this cliff. Instead he's walking Because there's around. no ground presence. There's no ground presence up here, so it's not possible for Aiden to do the same thing that Delarian did. Right, exactly. Uh, we do see that Aiden is going tier 2 fire for a fire frost. That's not something, actually, a frost fire. That's not something you see every day. Dalaran, yeah, I like that. I shield a little bit early. Um, yeah, I I recommend you to play play weird stuff. There's <laughs> so many people playing the same stuff in the meta game. Just start for something new. Do something special. Fire uh -huh. frost or frost fire, especially. That's something that's not actually that bad. I mean, frost tier one is not that bad anymore. Exactly. There's... Yeah. And frost People fire. with fire tier 1 do not play Mortar Tower enemy anymore, just try the Frost tier 1. Right. And especially because Frost tier 1 synergizes with Fire Frost a lot better than Fire tier 1 in the tier 2 stage. That's true. Because you have access yeah. to things like Light Blade and Home Soil and uh, yeah. Frost Sorceress. Okay, there's the Lava Field that wipes out everything. Uh, not quite everything, but yeah. Um, so, Dalaran did not accomplish anything in this attack. He damaged a bunch of things and he didn't focus to one spot. But on the other hand, he does have one well, which has gained uh, his power now. So, Dalaran is up 100 power from the well. Of course, he's also down one tech. So, we'll see if Aiden can make something happen with his push. Yeah, but he just grabbed his tier 2. Yes. And he's playing pure frost, so we see pure frost against frost fire, mm -hmm. which is a very interesting matchup. I, I don't know when I saw this matchup the last time. Yeah, that's a <laughs> quite rare. Yeah, both these. And mm -hmm. yeah, what do you think? Who has the upper hand, just matchup wise? I think it depends on the cards that you play. Fire, like, if Fire Frost knows you're going to play Pure Frost, I think it's really in favor of Fire Frost, because um, Shielded Skyfire Drakes plus Shielded Skyfire Templars beats uh, War Eagles and Templars, but Fire Frost is not usually going to be thinking Skyfire Templars. So I think Skyfire Templars do beat Shielded Drakes. Um, yeah, and I think that's a very interesting move here, playing the Sky of Templar. Mm -hmm. um, before anything comes up, because he's expecting 
this to be an air fight, you know? Right. The exactly. one that is controlling the air in this matchup is going to win. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, I think maybe that was a little premature on the scale of Templar because he didn't need it yet, yeah. but he is going to need it at some point, so it's it's not like a bad card to play. And we see that... Yeah, I think in this matchup, this early in the game, the Sky of Templar is not necessary. Mm -hmm. early, uh, later yeah. in the game, I think, on defense especially, that's important, but at this stage, I think it's better to play um, the Stormsinger and use the ability so your War Eagles can defend against Skyfire Drakes, even right. with shield. Of course, Aiden is actually playing Sky Elf Templar, which is the card we just said was quite rare in Fire Frost, but gives a large matchup in this in this matchup. Yeah, and something that you said, because he's playing the Frostier one, he has more space in Tier 2, because there are more utility Frostier 1 cards for the Tier 2 than there are Fire Tier 1 cards that you use in Tier 2, except for the Eruption, maybe. Mm -hmm. So um, you have room for cards like Sky of Templar, which make uh, matchups like Pure Frost a lot better. Right. Now, Dalaran has taken two extra wells, and Aiden has... So Aiden's 200 power behind. Aiden also uh, is down in units. Dalaran has 300 power of units. That's like a Harvester that he's got uh, sitting over here and healing up. This is not looking good for Aiden, despite having uh, the perfect cards to counter Griff Frost. Yeah, I don't know why he's running away with his, his Storm Singer. He could just kill those two units, especially the mm -hmm. Frost Sorcerer. Right. That's pretty useful in tier 2. He could have so, dealt with this. Here. Dazed War Eagle is a very bad thing to play against fire because you can just erupt it. Yeah. Uh, or with Sky Elf, you don't even need to erupt it until you can Oh, okay. It does live. Frostbite would have prevented that from playing. Um, and meanwhile, Dalaran is coming over here to attack with his other air units. Sky Elf Temple yeah, Haven, yeah. but. Uh, we don't see uh, Pure Frost that often, but I think what is a weakness of Pure Frost that is actually shown um, in many games, that Pure Frost is very incapable of, at of attacking multiple spots. Mm -hmm. And because the units are very expensive and you're lacking proper support spells, mm -hmm. like cheap support spells, um, so... Yeah, at this point, that's pretty good. He has a lot of units right. at one spot, and you can pressure down your opponent. Your defense is really good, mm -hmm. but on offense, your ability to play attack multiple spots is not that amazing. Right, and I'd be surprised if this doesn't go. It may be. The focus fire is not the best. The Storm's going to come over here and hit that well. Looks like he's repositioning to make that. Nope, that's a Skyfire Drake. Okay, Skyfire Drake's dead. If we can get a Cobalt Trick from Aiden, there we go, last second Cobalt Trick. Yeah, but he kicked the well next to the monument. Oh, yes, he clicked, he kicked this one. Yeah, uh, he attacked with three War Eagles, three different wells. <laughs> yes, the Focus Fire, uh, yeah, Dalaran has a, a quite significant unit advantage and permanent advantage because he's had that extra well. Uh, the Focus Fire could have been a little better. And he's going tier three. Tier three is that triple frost. It is triple frost. Now Aiden has a large, uh, large air advantage, and this is the point where having fire tier one might help. With the scorched earth, might turn things around. But it looks like he does not have this card in his deck, and Aiden is stuck with three hundred power of tier two units. Well, it died. Uh, so he will be able to finish off his War Eagles with his Sky of Templars, but Dalaran is now Tier 3. Okay, interesting. Rage Claws. And yeah. another pair of Rage Claws. Rage Claws gets yeah, impact back to uh, Silverlight. What's that? Yeah, Fire Frost always struggled with M counters. Then, in the old days, mm -hmm. the Storm Singer got buffed. And since then, 
actually, I think that Firefrost is a very strong deck and it's very underrated. Mm -hmm. um, especially, he's playing with Frost Tier 1, I think with Fire Tier 1 it's still better because, yeah, you have more utility in the early game, you're more swift and better matchups. But, yeah, I think that Firefrost is very underrated. It's, it's a very strong deck if you're capable of, um, of playing it. Right. It is a little bit strange to play, though. Yeah, that's true. Because your your units are usually pretty expensive. Right. You have the Skyfire Drake with shield. That's very expensive. You need to keep them alive. And I think that's what many people struggle with. And in the best case, you have a long tier 1 game, or you can extend the tier 1 game. But yeah, that's hard for many people, that's true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have to pick because you can't have everything. The, uh, the free PvP Fire, Fire Frost deck, I, I don't understand how to play that at all. It's not even, like, Disenchant. Um, but yeah, okay. Yeah, I... so, I don't, like that. I, I, don't know, I don't like that either. <laughs> that has a pretty big focus on tier 3, the mm -hmm. free PvP deck. So. Yeah, Dalaran, uh, Dalaran's just playing tier 3 versus tier 2. And that's the game. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, maybe not the cleanest game from either side, but maybe both players can learn something from this. And we got to see a nice, unusual matchup that we don't see that often. Yeah, that was very unusual. I mean, both decks are not that bad, but in this scenario where both decks face each other, that's... I don't know. <laughs> when I I don't remember when I have seen this matchup. That's gotta be months or years. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.